So a couple of people have requested that I talk about the whole George Zimmerman trial, and I will. Uh, you know, when I first started here on YouTube, I, you know, I deleted a lot of videos in the past, very controversial political views that I wasn't quite comfortable putting up here. Um, you know, a lot of it got a lot of negative feedback because when you get into politics here, you bring out the crazies on YouTube. There, you know, just go around to any political video and you will see that there is just people are just there hunters waiting to be negative towards your video and your viewpoints but I will risk it I will do as my subscribers want me to or a couple you know asked about it uh not that many requests for political videos but you know I I believe in variety so let's go old school here and talk about this now George Zimmerman, the best way to start off a video like this is, do I think he was guilty? What do I think about the verdict? Didn't much care for it. I think he's guilty. Uh, now, the whole thing is, is he racist or whatever? He might be. But the thing is that really pisses me off about this whole entire story is that the fact that they tried so hard, the media, to try to make this man uh, appear racist. They doctored the tapes over at NBC News. There's a, currently a lawsuit being taken up against them. So right there you see that there's a lot of foul business. It was very fucked up. That That's all you could really say about this is this whole thing was just fucked to hell. W what a mess of a trial. I mean seriously accusations flying wild. People, you know, just couldn't wait to scream the word racism, the race card and all that. And like I said, I am not going to say that he's not racist because there's no proof of that. And the thing is that everybody is shouting how on trail, uh, uh, un <laughs> making up words here, unfair the trial was. Um, and the thing is, even Tavis Smiley, a man who is just completely ridiculous when it comes to talking about race, He's made it his whole career, and it's quite obvious that that man himself is pretty racist. Um, you know, even he said, you know, he drives the wedge so hard between, you know, all the races here in this country. And even he said, he even said that there was nothing unfair that he could see about the trial, because that's how they've been doing it. Since the beginning of this country, since we declared independence from the British, <laughs> we, we've been doing it since the very beginning, having trials like this. A jury, a, a, a jury and a judge, and you know, a, a, and, and that's how it goes. You have the defense, and it, it's always worked this way. This, there's nothing different about this trial than any other trial. There are people wrongfully convicted all the time. Whites, Hispanics, blacks. You know, is there racism that might play a role? Definitely. I'm not saying that none of the uh, people on the jury were racist, but you can't prove that. You just can't go around calling people racist. It just doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all. Just going around, just, you know, shooting from the hip, uh, blaming people for all sorts of things. And, you know, like I said, right there, so no one can misconstrue the words. I think that George Zimmerman is guilty as hell. I think that he was sort of caught red-handed, but they didn't have enough evidence to convict him. And that's just how it works because, you know, uh, we don't do things here like in medieval times. You know, we don't just send person uh, people to the, uh, to the guillotine right away you know just uh, because we have a hunch it doesn't work that way you know so um, th those people you know you need to research these things before you start to to rant and and complain about it yes you know we are allowed as Americans to complain uh, you know certain things in the justice system could be altered um, you know you would be messing with the foundation of what the founding fathers you know, sore for the justice system, um, but, you know, you can make a lot of arguments here, and judges, what evidence was allowed, maybe they could have allowed more evidence, um, 
you know, there was a lot that went into this trial and maybe some more that could have went into it. But the, the thing remains is this, is that the media tried so hard to drive a wedge between the races in this case. It was just ridiculous, you know. And the fact that they had people like Tavis Smiley coming out and just, you know, speaking in such a hateful tone. People love to use uh, the term hate speech just willy-nilly. Well, you know, that was hate speech. What that man was saying was hate speech. Uh, it was a lot of hate being spewed out. And you had many other commentators that just couldn't wait, you know, for something bad to happen. It was like that they were rooting for George Zimmer Zimmerman to... Um, to be acquitted because you know they just wanted something to complain about and you know something to call racist and all that and that's just how it is and that's sad because really that's what it's about it's not that they want justice they want more fuel to their you know their fire to their to their um their, their little mission that they have you know, just it, it's all about hate. And the thing is, it's like if it wasn't for all these goofballs like Al Sharpton and Tavis Smiley, then the races would be able to come together and they would be able to, you know, they would be able to get along. We would be able to get along a lot better if it wasn't for loud mouths like Al Sharpton and Tavis Smiley and the rest of them, you know, bringing out all this hate and everything. And, you know, that's what causes people to be racist. They see people like Al Sharpton. Not everybody is like Al Sharpton, but sadly, you know, he's made himself a figurehead. And when he goes out there and he acts like a goofball and he starts screaming like a maniac, you know, that that's why people start to get hateful because they hate that. And, you know, that's the thing. It's like it, 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 it's just really unfortunate. And the thing is, is that they tried so hard. They try so hard nowadays. They, they cover up all the black-on-black -black crime. People like Al Sharpton that could be heroes for their communities. People like Tavis Smiley and Jesse Jackson could be heroes if they talked about what's going on in Chicago or Washington, D.C., all, you know, the murder capital of the country you, you know it, and there's all this black on black crime it's it's just a statistic there is more black on black crime than you know that, that is committed against blacks than any other race so why is that not talked about why is it always the story where there is the most hate and you know and, and uh, the ability to call it racist why is that always the story that makes it into the media why is it not something that you know, it is actually like a bigger issue on a grander scale. I really don't understand why they try so hard to hide it. Why do certain individuals in this country want racism to continue? And that's the thing, what it is all about. It's people like Al Sharpton and people in the media making money because racism sells. It sells so well. It sells books. It just, uh, it, it, it's made Al Sharpton into a multi-millionaire. It's made a lot of these people very successful. And that's it. And you really have to step back and, and look at what's going on. It's like, this, this is not justice. This is all about, you know, trying to become famous off of somebody else's name and trying to further that racial divide, you know, through just disgusting means. And, uh, you know, that does not sit well with me at all. Uh, so, you know, you just really have to think about that. That's the reason why, because everybody refuses to think about this from a different perspective of, you know, all these players that are sitting around, you know, in, in, in this, um, in this Roman Colosseum, because that, that's what it's become. It's just become a lot of bloodthirsty people just sitting around the Colosseum. And, you know, everybody was guilty of this. Yeah, you had, um, whites, Hispanics. And blacks all like in the media, just all, you know, trashing on Zimmerman. And even though I believe that he murdered Trayvon Martin, I, I think that, that, you know, th that this could have been handled in such a better way. And the thing is, it's like, why did this one story make it to the news? That's my point. Why did this one story, when you have hundreds of murders being committed in Chicago, 
uh, you know, especially in South Chicago. Why is that not discussed? Can you really give me a reason why that is not talked about? You know, just in, in, instead of screaming about how the trial was unfair, even though there is no proof that you could show me of that, well, where, where? Is there a reason why they cannot talk about the hundreds of murders that occur every day in these major murder cities here in this country? Just think about it. That's all I'm saying.